Hello YouTube. Today I just got in, well not today, um I just got Sorry, there's a really bad start for some reason. I got a brand new iPad so I can record videos without having to make interruptions on them now. And I can do longer videos now. Yay! So anyway, today we are going to be showing the difference between SPI and I2C OLEDs, the speed difference on them. Now, for some reason, this is like automatically zoomed in a little bit and I can't fix it where it's in video mode, but yeah. So, um, just move stuff around here a little bit. So here I have an Arduino Uno hooked to an I2C SSD 1306-128x32 OLED. Here's an ESP32 linked to an SPI version of that. And actually, the I2C is pretty slow, but the SPI is like ridiculously fast. And I will show you that. So, um, let me um, plug in the battery for the Arduino. Uh, I have a battery for it. Yeah, I don't have one for the ESP32, but I can still use my computer to plug it in. We got that going. We got this little monstrosity over here going. We just get it so you can see it, the OLEDs. Here we go. They're both running on the same exact code, except this one is running a modified version for SPI. The add through SSD 1306 libraries. And they're both running on the same code. This is a speed testing code I designed that generates randomly that creates randomly drawn triangles that would go faster and faster over time. Now this one here, the 128 by 32 version has a maximum speed of 2.5 seconds. What the 120 by 64 version has a maximum speed of four seconds. Uh, when the computer cycles around again, you can see the, how faster the SPI is compared to the I2C. And I think I know why it's I2C is slower. Uh, and it's gonna take a little while to get to the end of some. So, um, well, I looked up uh, the documents for this display driver on the internet, and I found well, it has an I2C version on it, and there's a really, really weird and complex data signal to put into it for some reason. Well, you see, you see how fast this one is compared to the I2C one? It's just zipping away, like 0 0.3 seconds for this one, and this one is only 2.5 seconds. Big difference, you know? And for some reason, this one here is almost like another one I have. It's like a bluish tint to it. Well, the other one is solid white. I don't know why, but it's weird. Maybe because the other one is brighter or something. So, and... So, this is actually kind of the same for the bigger one, too. Now, let me go... Up, now, I'm going to go prepare a different code I have. A circle generator. So, so you can better see the speed comparison. Okay, so let me get out the circle generator over here. Uh, I'm just going to put this down real quickly. And I am back. So, yeah, you can probably notice a very big difference with the speed on the... This is actually a circle generator I made. It's supposed to be a hitbox generator. Well, if a circle were to crash into another circle, it would delete those two circles. But I didn't get around to finishing it. So I, but I had the main primary circle generator finished, and that worked fine. Now, this here, see, this is an I2C one. You can see how slow it is. Look at that. It's kind of pathetic, isn't it? Now, having the exact same delay on the SPI one, you can see how ridiculous this is. So, yeah, now, um, I believe I know why this is so slow. According to the documents... On the, on the internet about the display driver. I think I already said it in the last clip where you have to, there's like a weird bit arrangement. You have to do a really strange bit manipulation code to control the bits for some reason on I2C. But the library by Adafru and also the library, the UIG2 library, but I prefer Adafruit better because UIG2, you cannot make your own code off it. 
but both libraries are already mainly due to bit manipulation, even though the other one is faster than this one. It still has to do that weird bit manipulation thing just to get it to work. But for SPI, you do not need to do that. You can send straight 8-bit inputs into it. And there's easier control. I'm not sure why, but I2C, the DC pin is one of the bits. of like a few other straight bits you got to power on and off and a readout bit. And a 6-bit input and an 8-bit input. Which requires a very complex driving scheme, which makes it really, really slow. Compared to the wonderful SPI. You know, SPI is actually better than I2C. It's way faster. In general, it is. Yeah, one more good look at the insanity and this patheticness right here. Well, that's it for today's video. I will, I will see you next time. Um, if you get 100 likes and 100 subscribers, I guess. And I will see you next time. Goodbye.